welcome to the show. I'm Tom Lindsay, your host, and with us this evening is a paragon in the entertainment industry. He's been in the business for over 35 years, and now it's my great pleasure to welcome to the show Mr. John Saxon. Thank you very welcome, much. Welcome, John. Thank you very much for, for your welcome and <laughs> calling me a paragon. Well, right? you are a paragon. <laughs> well, I've never seen you give a bad performance. You've always lived up to the roles you played. Well, I think, yes, I've tried. I, I've never sloughed anything off. Uh, I've never felt any piece of material. And sometimes some of the things were, you know, low budget, maybe a horror film or a sci fi, where you could really have I mean, looked down on it. But I, I tried my best to, to imbue it with whatever sense of dignity it could possibly have, because I guess. Uh, um, I can remember my father was a was a house painter, um, and he did a few other things. But but house painting was the profession he had when I was growing up, and he took it quite seriously. I mean, he took a great deal of pride in what he was able to do. And I think I think that's just something that was you know part of the family or the it's masculine family tradition. You know, <laughs> doing doing your best. I, right. I find it very hard to. Uh, uh, do something, even, you know, someone I'm working now, if I, if I feel like I've blown something, I did a take uh, that wasn't, uh, oh, you know, it hurts. Um, it bothers me to some extent. Um, so I've always tried my best. Do you come from a large family? Do you have a lot of... I have two sisters, yeah. Um, one of which for a while worked for a theatrical agency in New York. And uh, other than that, there's no no trace of any kind of uh, theatrical background in my family. All right, that was probably my next question. No, yeah. not at all. As a matter of fact, the really interesting, uh, ironic story is my grandfather is, a, is an Italian immigrant who came to America about 1910. He went to a movie once in his life. He regarded it as total waste of time. He never went back again in his life. When he was dying and I had been I had already been in Hollywood two, two years. I came back to see him, see him. He was very ill and dying. The irony was he never quite understood <laughs> what it was I was doing because he had had such little contact with movies and things like that all his life. He really couldn't place and jump in his imagination of what connection I might have with this. He kind of was saying, so you work in a factory, is that it? <laughs> well, I said, well, not quite, not yet. quite, but <laughs> not quite grandpa, yeah, not quite grandpa. But no, and he okay. really didn't understand. That's how okay. little connection my family's had 